Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a, an optimization guide for Monster Hunter Rise on PC. So I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, we're going to start with Windows. And after that, we will go inside of the settings of the game. So we're going to start with Windows. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So the first thing that you need to write is game mode. Open your game mode and make sure that game mode is at on. In my previous guide of, on PUBG, I was telling you guys to not using it, but for the past eight months now, game mode is really good. So I recommend to activate it. After that, for the Xbox game bar, really important to deactivate it. They don't use overlays like Discord, uh, Nvidia, AMD, those or those overlay that you can record your uh, 30 second last of gameplay. It's causing a lot of issue with PUBG, so I don't recommend to use that. For the capture, also I recommend to put background recording at off and recorded audio at off. I also recommend to search for graphic setting in your search bar. You will need an NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent and activate the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Put this one at on. Uh, for a card like the 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060, you can expect a nice 3% boost in your FPS. It really helps with bottleneck and for the rest, uh, all the other cards, I didn't see any difference. So this is pretty much it for that. Um, I also recommend to update your driver. So Radeon software, Nvidia, even Intel, if you're using the iGPU on your CPU, go on the Intel website, download the latest version of their driver. Another thing that I recommend is write energy, go to your power plan, power option, and make sure that you're running balance or high performance. I know a couple of laptops, when you plug in the wall and unplug, sometimes they stay at power saver and it, it's causing issue for uh, your performance. So definitely go with balance or high performance. So this is pretty much it for those parameters. I also have a guide on my uh, channel to how to overclock your GPU and CPU. It can help you treat to like 15% boost in your FPS. It really depends on your component, thermals and stuff like that. Uh, definitely check it out so now inside of the game so let's go to display uh first of all the first thing that you really need to look at is the screen mode make sure that you're running full screen and also you need to run full screen if you're on hdr in this game so super important to run that uh, after that for resolution setting i really recommend to use the uh, native uh from your monitor so if you have a 2k monitor go 2k if you have 1080p go 1080p so don't lower your resolution here your game will look a lot blurry so for the display frequency i recommend to use the one from uh, your uh, monitor just make sure that it's the proper amount of hertz for me i have a 170 hertz screen and by default it was at 60 so super important to modify that if uh it can be applied aspect ratio i just use 16 by 9 for the frame rate cap i'm capping the fps at 165 because i want to stay in my free sync range my free sync range is 170 hertz uh but the thing is you just have two options i can put it at 168 for example so this is pretty much the range that you have so i'm gonna go with this one for V-Sync, I'm not using it because I'm using the free sync. So if you have free sync or G-Sync on your monitor, don't use the V-Sync. If you don't have free sync and G-Sync and you don't like tearing in your image, you can definitely put your V-Sync at on. It will add a little bit of input lag, but you know, Monster Hunter Rise, it's not a competitive game. Um, it's not an eSport game, so you don't really care about it. So after that, go to Advanced Setting. First of all, the image quality I'm using a uh, 100%. You have three different options here. Let's go to it. You can upscale at 150 or uh, downscale at 70. I don't recommend 70. Everything looks blurry. So super important. Just use the 100 here. For the high resolution texture and the texture filtering, just look at your amount of VRAM that you have here. Uh, so if you have 4 gig, you can, you can definitely go high res and texture filtering at high, but it really depends on your uh, amount of VRAM. Uh, just let the 10 to 15% uh, of your uh, texture empty to just to make sure that you will not have any problem with windows and stuff like that. And the inclusion, this one is a bit tricky. You have two options, you have on or off. And you can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS when you put it at off. But the thing is, the game looks very flat. So it really depends where you are in the guide and how many FPS that you want to have. Uh, because uh, it's, really, it's question of preference. Do you like your game to look flat or you want in the ambient occlusion? So I'm going to put this one at off. Shadow quality, you have high, average and low. So three different options. High to low, you can expect a nice 10% boost in your FPS. I recommend to play at 
average it's the best boost slash visual quality that you can get average you will have a nice seven to eight percent boost in your fps so that's why i select average dynamic shadow i recommend to go at off and equipment shadow off Proce uh, processing reduction via model swapping off too those one at off will provide you seven percent boost in your fps after that you have mesh quality you have i average two different option i recommend to go with average because it's not that bad your image quality and you will have a nice four percent boost in your fps anti-aliasing not a big fan in this game uh, i feel like the game looks very blurry with anti-aliasing so that's why i just remove it uh, and also it will provide you a nine percent boost in your fps if you don't like aliasing in a game i recommend to go with something like the fx aa uh, you will have like a five percent boost in your fps and you will have uh, basic anti-aliasing. I recommend to go with foliage sway at off. Motion blur, you don't want to use that also. Lens distortion at off. Vignette effect at off. Depth of fill at off. And film grain at off. Those one will provide you like a maximum 3% boost in your FPS with the foliage way. All the, those other options, it's more about like your visual, the, the clarity of your image. So it will not provide you a, a big effect in your FPS. So this is pretty much it guys for the Monster Hunter Rise Guide. Uh, if you have any question about this guide, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.